to learn about the claws of the bird uh, it is very difficult topic uh, for the children to understand so we have taken four straws four straws which are able to bend uh, properly so i'll take four straws and put a rubber band like this so that it can be in its own place now and then we will put some claws here i have made it say it is having claws so if there are four claws here if i take three straw uh, three claws in the front and one at the back this will look like the claws of a perching bird three claws in the front and one at the back this helps them to hold the branches firmly now if i take the same uh, thing and i just move two in the front and two at the back it will be the claws of a climbing bird claws of a climbing bird is uh, two claws in the front and two at the back so they can be able to climb uh, on the trees like for example woodpecker and parrot etc next is a uh, say wide wading bird which are the birds which are able to move properly in the water so they have wide spread toes so their toes are wide spread so that they are able to walk on the mud muddy water and uh, to catch the fishes and all for example crane the perching bird uh, the example for perching bird was uh, like for example sparrow crow myna climbing bird has two claws in the front and one two at the back it is for the climbing birds for example woodpecker and parrot and the birds which has wide spread toes for example crane they are able to move properly in the water similarly i'll take similar thing three in the front and one at the back but for the swimming bird they have web feet so they are able to move i have taken this again this four straws and the swimming bird are able to swim in the water uh, next there is a this is flesh eating birds and you can see again three claws in the front and one at the back but you can see the difference in their talons these are called as talons they are able to catch their prey and they hold it firmly even when they are flying that's it thank you so to